Three teenagers face charges for a carjacking turned police chase through several cities. Police say a 13 year old driver was behind the wheel. Fox Wars James Rose in our Dallas newsroom with more on that wild ride. Well, Clarice, the carjacking happened in the Pleasant Grove neighborhood of Dallas, and then it went through Garland, Richardson, Farmers Branch, and back into Dallas. Police took this carjacking very seriously. Dallas Police Air One followed from the sky, Garland Police along with Dallas Police on the ground, and the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge Police say provided the perfect place to bring all of this to an end. This is the aftermath of an hour-long police chase spanning five cities with speeds as high as 115 miles an hour. The wild man behind the wheel, a 13-year-old boy with 15 and 17-year-old accomplices. First of all, it was scary, period. Garland police took the lead as the chase entered their city. Once on the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge in Dallas, a squad car rammed the rear of the vehicle, a tactic known as a pit maneuver. First of all, we were involved in a chase with people that we knew had just hijacked a car at gunpoint. Garland police spokesman Joe Harn says officers decided to end the chase on the bridge because there was very little traffic and no people around. The potential to continue to put other people in danger, they had already robbed someone at gunpoint. A good potential that if we'd have dropped off of this, they may stop and hijack somebody else to get in a different vehicle because we're going to find that vehicle. Dallas police say it all started here at the intersection of Bruton Road and Buckner Boulevard. Roughly 2.30 this morning, Dallas police say a 31-year-old woman had just walked out of the Walgreens, was on her way to her car when one of the teenagers approached her asking for money. Another one pulled a gun and took her car. The 17-year-old in the car is identified as James LeBru. The other two teens have not been identified because of their ages. Investigators say a toy gun and a pellet pistol were taken from the stolen vehicle. These are teenagers, but you know what? These teenagers committed a crime and they were criminals, and we were able to get them. Now, LeBru is charged with aggravated robbery. He is at the Dallas County Jail. The other two suspects are in juvenile custody, and they face similar charges. Clarice. James, thank you.